as you can see, they look like they, the two of these beautiful cheetah males have got relatively full bo uh, bodies, full bodies, full stomachs. So I presume that this is the coalition of males that you have been seeing over the past few years. Now, I don't know too much about these boys, so I'd really appreciate some help this afternoon if you could perhaps send in a comment or two and let me know about the details of uh, these two brothers. You can do that by either hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or you can send us an email questions at wildearth.tv. Now, unfortunately, I'm unsure of when they ate and what they ate, but I'm glad that they just ate something. Cheetah, unfortunately, tend to have the short end of the stick when it comes to the predator hierarchy being right down at the bottom, even lower than the hyenas, which is so unfortunate. Now, seeing as though we've just, you've just seen Karula, the lovely leopardess of Duma, and now we're looking at the other spotted cat that we occasionally see. I know a few of you are wondering what the differences are, and I know Bobby Chair is wondering exactly that, what the difference between a leopard and a cheetah is. Now, I'm thankful that this male has got his head up, because one of the most obvious dis uh, differences, and as I say that he looks away, is have a look at those lovely tear marks going down from the tip, the corners of his eye, right down past his cheeks. Now, leopards don't have those tear marks at all, and of course, the other difference is now if you look at the spots themselves, cheetah actually have spots, whereas leopards have rosettes. Of course, a rosette is a black marking, and then it has got a lighter color inside, so it's not a solid black circle like you see covering the entire cheetah's body. And of course, there's a few other physical differences for instance, the size, I think that cheetahs tend to be a little bit taller than the leopards, but not quite as stocky. The leopards obviously weigh quite a bit more, and the cheetahs are, are much lighter. And also, if you look at their claws there, and you see them, how they're sticking out, a cheetah cannot retract its claws like a leopard. They rely on those claws to stay out to try and help them run as fast as they can. They need all the grip that they can get. Remember, unlike the leopards that rely on stealth and sneaking up to their prey, so do cheetah, but they then have this amazing burst of speed which allows them uh, to race after the animals. And of course they need to have a slender body and a nice long tail that acts as a rudder to help them turn those sharp corners. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a live cheetah hunt before. I can imagine there aren't too many of those. But if you've seen perhaps a video of them, you've seen how the antelope will dart and twist and turn and pivot on the spot to try and evade the cheetah. And they are always hot in their heels. We've also, if you've been watching these boys now as I've been chatting away, how nervous they are and this is a very typical disposition of cheetahs it's, it's not because of us they're very much relaxed with all the vehicles that are around them however like i said just a moment ago unfortunately they are quite low down on the predator hierarchy so they do have to constantly look over their shoulders even more so than what we've been seeing karula doing when she's with her cubs is because if something like a lion comes through, or even a leopard, they could easily kill uh, this cheetah. Now, a hyena wouldn't really want to kill a cheetah. The only thing it would really want to do is steal its food. But lucky for these cheetah, they seem to have got a good fill. I've even seen it where a ch big male cheetah had come through and was eating and caught an impala and he was eating it and he unfortunately got chased off by three leopard faced vultures can you believe it that a vulture and of course the leopard faced vulture the largest vulture that we see was able to chase him straight from his meal something's caught his attention what have you seen just going to look over my shoulder very quickly and behind me i could hear the buffalo in the distance that big herd i wonder if it's perhaps not them I'm also going to snap one or two photos while they are posing so reg looking very regal at the moment. 
and I hope that you are doing the same thing. I hope to see some of them a bit later too. The sun is just going down, which is making it relatively difficult now. You can see the light is fading, and I thought the sunset was actually going to be quite beautiful, but it seems as though 